Hey everybody, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. We are headed down to the International Truck. Uh, if you watched the last video where Chris and I were splitting, we got into some of that beach and it was pretty nasty stuff. It was punky, it was rotten, it was filled with worms. Just wasn't worth our time. We were uh, saying how we're pretty spoiled. Always have a nice ash and, and you know, having the ability to choose what logs we bring home instead of, you know, leaving it up to somebody else. And uh, that's definitely the case. We feel very blessed that uh, we get to do that. But one man's trash is another man's treasure. So I called up my buddy. Sorry, I'm just fumbling here looking for the international key. Here it is. Um, we called up my, or I called up my buddy who has a wood boiler that I've brought undesirables we'll call them too in the past and that's exactly it you know it's trash to me but he doesn't really care because he just feeds the boiler and heats everything up with it um, so he wants it so <laughs> we're gonna use the international truck here with the dumpster can on the back and load up all my chunks and scraps and stuff from that because even the chunks and scraps it's not really worth my time uh, to split up for myself and my wood stove and we're gonna get rid of that, and then hopefully we can get the SureTrack dump trailer dumped, because that was filled up with all the rounds that my neighbor Sean brought over, and we're just gonna keep on keeping on. So it's kinda like a cleanup, scrap kinda day. So here we go. I have not started the International in probably like two weeks, so um, let's see how she does. Well, uh, I did get that glow plug relay thing fixed um, a couple weeks, well, a couple months ago now. Um, let's see, brake, I don't know, these lights really don't work all that well, but we're gonna cycle the glow plugs a couple times. There we go. Oh. Almost. <laughs> Let's try it again. All right, without too much trouble, she started up. Like I said, it's been a couple weeks. Probably should have started up more recently, um, but it has been pretty warm. But uh, she's fired up, and this should do the trick. So now uh, let's go grab the tractor and brought my bucket that I have in the house for kindling because I got to fill that up. It's empty. And this is the load that got delivered yesterday in my dump trailer. So out with the crap, in with the good stuff. This should make a lot of really nice firewood. And it all seems to be cut up to the right size for the most part. And what isn't, that's fine. I have no problem burning ash in my wood stove. Okay guys, we're gonna pull international out here now I uh, I wasn't really anticipating doing this today so when I had Sean drop off the trailer yesterday I just kind of told him to leave it in the middle figuring the biggest piece of equipment I might need to get by was the tractor um, and I really don't want to have to hook up truck to move the trailer so we're re I think there's just enough room for me to squeak by uh, the totes in the trailer but we're definitely gonna have to shut the outside door here all right guys as you can tell it's pretty tight here between the trailer and the totes but I think we should make it so let's see what we got Gotta thread the needle. I think we're good. By gosh, I think he's got it. Kind of riding the clutch a little bit, but that's all right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Took a little bark off there. 
It's all right. I want that maple tree to come down. But now that we're past the trailer, I got more room. That maple's got to go. Okay. Oh. I totally just... Yep. Totally just forgot that the tripod was there. This is a brand new tripod and I, 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 I promised myself that I wasn't going to run it over because that's, that's always how, uh, that's always how I break these things is that I run them over because I always forget where they are. And here we go, second day using it, I run it over. Luckily nothing broke. Uh, we should be good to go to back up. <laughs> it's pretty tight, but we got it. <laughs> All right, now we're home free. Here we go. Man, I love having a roll-off truck. This thing is so convenient. I think the uh, thing I got most asked about and most complimented on when we were down at Brad's for that meet and greet was this international roll-off hook lift truck. Um, just because, I'm, su I'm really surprised, I guess. I mean, I guess it's because not everybody that watches these firewood channels really actually does work like this, but I'm surprised that people hadn't seen, hadn't seen these roll-off hook lift, you know, trucks before. Uh, Cause like, this is a 1992, so they've been around for a while. But uh, all right, I got the, I got the wicked grapple on the tractor here. I'm gonna move these two, you know, cutting logs, the saw logs out of the way. And then basically all of this stuff, not the cherry logs, but all this stuff, we're gonna load up um, and, and get out of here. That's all that's left, just little chunks. I'll throw those into my IBC tote to burn. This is what we got oh, in the dumpster can. Bunch of crap, but that's all right. Let's get it up on the back of the truck and uh, take off. Okay guys, so for those of you who are interested in this truck, I'm gonna show you the whole process of uh, putting the bed back on. As you can see out there, we got the dumpster can down on the ground. Um, this is my PTO, so I'm going to push in the clutch. Yes, this truck has a clutch, and I know how to drive it. Engage the PTO, and now we're going to take the e-brake off. Now, this truck has two levers. One to dump it or to have the can like actually come off, and then this lever here is the jib, which makes it slide backwards in order to put it down all the way on the ground. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our foot on the brake, and uh, we're gonna engage the lift mechanism here. And as you can see, the can comes up. And I can even take my foot off the brake here and the truck will actually slide backwards um, and it speeds things up a bit. So here, the can is coming down onto the frame rails right there. Now, we're gonna use this lever, which is the jib. You can see there's a little arrow there for like sliding forward. So we are going to push that and the whole can slides forward right up 
to the back of the cab. And that's it. Now clutch in, PTO off, brake on because I got to go get the other camera, but we are ready to take off. What's up, Blue? Huh? What's up? What's up, buddy? Hey, Gus. Hey, guys. Well, guys, we just got back to the house. Louie and Gus came to greet me. Now we're gonna hop in the old F-250 and we're gonna hook this up to the dump trailer. Um, it's just easier because I have a backup camera. Um, so that's the plan. Well, guys, if it's not one thing, it's another. Uh, the other day, I had a dead battery on this truck because I forgot to unplug my power inverter that I have in the center console to like charge multiple phones and stuff. So I got a chance to use my new battery charger for the first time and now I'm getting a chance to use it for a second time. So I'm glad I plugged it in even though uh, I didn't think I was really gonna need it again, but uh, this is my NOCO Boost, I guess it's the X version, GBX 155. Uh, this thing is like the biggest one I believe that NOCO makes, and uh, it says it'll charge up or jump like up to a eight liter diesel or a 10 liter gas, I believe. So um, it jumped my truck the other day, absolutely no problem so we are going to hook this thing up negative and positive and then all you do is we're gonna hit the power button that right right there but it says start vehicle within I don't know if, that, if that'll focus um, Anyway, it says start vehicle within 60 seconds, power on off to reset. So uh, I guess like that's when it has all the power. So we're gonna turn it on. It says it's hooked up and charging. And my sound just came on. So now we're going to fire it up. Once the glow plugs go off, right about now, boom. Fired right up, absolutely no problem. This thing is awesome. Um, we're gonna shut it off. Not only does it like charge really big trucks and stuff or jump them, but it's got a light on there too, and USBs and stuff to charge like phones or whatever. Um, it can charge pretty fast, like two hours or so, so that's pretty good.
Okay guys, we got all that cleaned up, all that mess. My neighbor Riley came over, his dog is playing with Gus and Louie. He just helped me and uh, did a little camera work. So the truck has been, I keep dropping this damn glove. The truck has been running, charging up the batteries. I don't know, hopefully that'll do it. If not, that's why I got that power charger thing. But we're gonna back this puppy up, basically right up to the shelter, and just dump right in front of the splitter. And then I can always, you know, push the load or the rounds a little bit closer with the grapple or the bucket or whatever. Um, but this thing is like chock full. So here we go. boy oh boy guys I am spoiled this is some nice stuff this is really nice size ash rounds here um, like really nice size stuff I uh, I'm really excited to split all this stuff up it all looks solid doesn't look super rotten I mean I see like one piece there with a little bit of hollow in it, but it all looks solid. Bark already falling off some of the pieces. This is gonna be some great stuff. So I'm gonna throw the grapple back on the tractor and we're gonna try and push all this stuff up, kinda compact it up into a pile here, um, close to the splitter and we should be good to go. Well, all right guys, got that pile cleaned up in a jiffy with the tractor and the wicked grapple. And now it's not spread out all over the wood yard, but in a nice pile right up here near the wood splitter. And we didn't break anything either. Now, I mean, I'm gonna say it again, but just look at this stuff. I mean, it is perfect size. A lot of this, we could probably even run the six way on, which I normally don't use but a lot of this stuff is, is prime six-way territory so that is some really nice looking ash firewood um, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video guys I was trying to get all that crap out of here to make room for this gold um, so I think the theme of this video is one man's trash is another man's treasure because my trash went to my buddy and he loves that stuff to burn in his boiler. And this was the trash from Sean's landscaping job. And this is my treasure. So um, I think that's probably gonna be somehow worked into, encompassed into the title of this video. But uh, yeah, I'm just super lucky and super excited to get to splitting this stuff. Um, it's supposed to be super cold this weekend. So I don't know if we're gonna get to it. I also have a tree job, which not really looking forward to considering it's gonna be like 16 degrees, but we will get it done. Um, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. You've been getting a ton of new subscribers. I know I keep saying it, but uh, welcome. Glad to have you here. Uh, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button down below. It's just helping 
share the channel to more and more people. The more people that subscribe and give thumbs up and comment and stuff, the more the algorithm pushes out the video to more like-minded people and we can grow the community. Any questions, comments, or feedback, throw it down in that comment section below. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.